Let's talk about garlic. Garlic is so wonderful. I wish you were right here because of course I have garlic under my nose and I can smell it and I love garlic. So there's fresh and dried garlic. This, of course the fresh garlic comes in the bulbs and the bulbs are full of cloves. And so how many you use of these is entirely up to you. But I think garlic is the most wonderful, sexy herb that exists. That's my personal, um, maybe my professional opinion about garlic. But, uh, you know, garlic, for a long time, I always thought that it was ridiculous that people would use garlic powder. Um, and so I have to say that I had a little bit of judgment around that, probably because I grew up with pretty poor quality garlic powder that didn't really taste like garlic. And I also love garlic. But then I found out that, that a lot of the more contemporary freeze-dried garlic powders are actually pretty tasty. So I've switched to also using garlic powder depending on um, what I'm making and how quickly I want to do it. It is really different. It doesn't have the sugars and the stickiness that garlic has that kind of tend to cling to things. So it's a little bit different. So I use both. I think of them as different spices. So here's the garlic powder and the garlic Garlic, if, if I had to choose my top three medicinal plants, and I'm broadening it from herbs all the way to medicinal plants, garlic would always be there. I think it's incredibly useful, it's profound, and I think it's really well adapted to human bodies. So when you eat garlic, you think of it as the taste lingering in your mouth, but actually what happens is it goes into your bloodstream and your lungs even actually exude garlic. Your whole body would taste like garlic if you were to be eaten. In fact, if you are a person who is pregnant, that baby inside your uterus is tasting garlic when you eat it. The amniotic fluid starts to taste like garlic. Breast milk, if you are breastfeeding, the breast milk tastes like garlic. So this is a really cool, like very permeable herb. So you can think of it as something or spice that like travels through the body that really gets a lot of, um, of different areas in the body going. And, uh, and I love garlic for those reasons. So how do you use garlic? Well, there's, there's so many ways and any cookbook will also tell you how to use garlic. But the, here's the thing to know, all garlic is good. So, you know, there's a lot of, of time you'll hear about, oh, you should use garlic that's raw because it's more medicinal. Um, and that is true, but a lot of times people can't consume raw garlic very easily. If you want to consume raw garlic, the easiest way to do it is to put it in something that's like fatty or coating, like mix it into avocado, make peanut sauce, you know, guacamole, peanut sauce, these are all tasty things, right? Mix it into a bit of honey, um, mix it with olive oil, and then you can, you know, put it on whatever you want to do. And so raw garlic can be used in those ways, and it's wonderfully strong and medicinal. Um, there's also the idea of using garlic in the dried form, and you can even sprinkle that atop of food and so on, but it's fine to cook your garlic. So you can cook your garlic, add it to the beginning of your food, add a little bit to the end. Um, you know, it's delicious and wonderful however you want to use garlic. You don't have to think about, you know, maximizing the medicinal benefits too much. Um, I would say just use more of it and, you know, however, whatever way you want to do that. So why do I use garlic? I think of garlic as a great protector and an antimicrobial agent in the body. It's really wonderful. And a lot of the, the um, stories around garlic and vampires had to do with, if you think about it, you go to sleep at night, you wake up and you're completely drained and exhausted, like someone sucked the blood out of you. Um, and that's often a viral, something that's, that's viral. And garlic would protect from that. I mean, garlic has a lot of potent antiviral properties. So it's wonderful for respiratory conditions. It's wonderful for deeper immune system challenges. And it's a plant I use both as a cooking herb and very much medicinally. So tons of research around garlic and heart health. And, um, you know, it's one of the most heart protecting herbs there's, yeah, as far as hypertension and blood lipid levels, all of that is, is there's a lot of research around garlic assisting in those areas. Um, garlic has been shown in all sorts of research to help with metabolic syndrome, um, to be supportive in people that are dealing with long-term immune challenges. Uh, and there's even, you know, th there's some super cool research around just some very simple things. I thought one of my favorite pieces that I'd bring to you today was about uh, people that are taking an anti-diabetic agent. And if you're taking an anti-diabetic medication, a pharmaceutical, um, that's often to protect your heart, to protect your immune system, and, and to help with your blood sugar balance. And when they added a little bit of garlic in there to control type 2 diabetes, they found that it massively improved um, glycemic control and anti-hyperlipidemic activity. So they're 
blood cholesterol levels and triglycerides change. So lots of cool stuff to do with garlic with all, in all different ways um, in your body. So again, you know, go, adding garlic to your food can be as simple as getting to know garlic. If you're not familiar with it and or you think you don't like it, maybe try it again in a smaller amount. See how much garlic you actually want to use. Find out your favorite ways to use it, whether it's pressed or otherwise. We're going to be making a favorite recipe that I have with garlic a little bit later, although most recipes I make have garlic in them. So um, this, there, there are a lot of favorite recipes, but I'll show you a simple way to increase the garlic quantity in your life that's very easy to diversify and use in all different types of forms. So love me some garlic.